looks like I have to call security. Look, I can explain. I'm sure you can. But I'm also sure you can understand why I'd be upset. A beautiful woman. All alone in my room. That's simply not allowed. Well, if you think security can help, well, then by all means, call them. Okay. Security. Security. I guess they're busy. I guess we'll have to try again later. Huh. Well, you keep that up. I'll get you the key to every room in the hotel. So, how'd you manage to get in here anyway? The maid let me in, but please don't yell at her because I played on her romantic nature. Oh, her love of money, so you slipped her a 20, huh? Yeah, I just told her I had a rough day at ICU and battling in-laws and fighting with my father, and I need a little relief. Hmm. And the only place you could find that was where? Was right here. what I get for saving Tom's life. I hope your husband nearly drowns every day. Any word on him? How's his condition? He's still in a coma. Nothing's changed. That's too bad. Yeah. Actually, I would like to call the hospital and see how he's doing. Margo, you said you came here to get away from everything, right? So tell me, did you uh, tell anyone you were coming here? I've got my beeper. Well, that's good. So, have you packed yet? No, I haven't. I was going to pack tonight. What time do we leave tomorrow? Well, actually, you know, I haven't decided that yet. Oh. Which reminds me, though, I should pack myself. Okay, I can help you. No, no, actually, uh, why don't you make us a little snack? I'm starving. Excuse me? Is this any indication of what's to come on our little Mediterranean excursion? Well, that depends on what you make and where we eat it. Hey, I'll be right back. for your big surprise. Oh, building an ark for our old-fashioned cruise? I heard all this hammering. It sounded painful. No, it won't be, I assure you. And believe me, when you get the surprise, you won't feel a thing. Is there any change? I mean, I, I, I'm fine. I just... Uh... Is there any indication that he's waking anytime soon? All right, thank you. I'll check in again later. Oh. So much for checking with relatives. No, that was the nurse at Memorial. I don't want to talk to Bob or Lisa or my father again today. Wise move. Oh, okay, so here's our little snack. Where's my surprise? It's right there. New luggage. Well, it looks remarkably full of your clothing. Well, that's a surprise. Huh. I finished packing. We're leaving tonight. 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 Margo, look, I know you're torn with time in the hospital. No, 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 no. Alec, I told you. You're the most important thing to me now. And I want to be with you. Now and always. How long have I waited to hear you say those words? So where are we going? Huh? Mediterranean. Oh, but what about Barcelona? Mm. You know you talk too much? It's just, I, you know, because it's not just that I'm excited about the trip, it's the anticipation and everything that goes along with it. 
So what? You want specifics? Well, yeah, please. Okay. Mm. We start on a cruise. Yeah, but to where? Mm. On a yacht. Alec! <laughs> Margo, I told you. In the Mediterranean. I'll give you the exact longitude and <laughs> latitude later. Yeah. And, and then what? And then we uh, sleep naked on the beach underneath the moonlit sky. That's going to be cold, won't it? Only if we sleep. <laughs> Don't worry, arrange for a tent. We'll make love by the firelight all night long. And where's the beach, huh? The beach? I know, I know. It's um, the yacht of the Mediterranean. You're teasing me, aren't you? That's what lovers do, Margot. The question is, why are you taking this all so seriously? Because, Alec, I'm changing my life for you. I'm leaving my kids behind to fend for themselves. I'm changing everything about my life, leaving everything I know behind. I think the least you could do is, is give me some answers. Tell me where we're going. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I really didn't know how important this was to you. So you want the exact address, huh? The Castle Cantilla. It's on Paris. It's a small little island off the coast of Spain. Oh. And then what, what about after Spain? Huh? I don't know. Where was I? Where about... Here? I can't do this. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Not now. No. And why not, Margot? And if not now, when? You said you needed me. You said you wanted to be with me now and always, right? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's so s soon. The timing is off. It's been off since our night in Chicago, Margot. I know. I'm sorry. I know this is frustrating for you, You're baby. Damn but... straight it is. Which makes me wonder what's really going on here, Margot. And you're certain Jake McKinnon's wife is flying back to Oakdale tonight aboard Lucinda Walsh's private jet. I'm supposed to come along. Any orders? Yeah. Yeah. Finish the project. You know what to do. I'm really sorry. I know that I've made you angry. Confused, Margot. Very confused. Why would you want to go away on a trip with a man you don't even want to sleep with? Well, like the last couple days, it's just been so awful for me. I've been in jail. My husband's in the hospital. It's just I'm fried. I wouldn't. Could we? Could we just we'll have some champagne? That always relaxes me. Okay, fine. I'll open up a bottle. No, 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 you don't have to. I've got it all set up in the bedroom. Well, there's no point in going into the bedroom if you're avoiding the bed. Why don't we drink it out here? No, no, no. Power of suggestion, Alec. Margo, don't Alec, do this. I want to be with you. You just have to be patient with me. Well, you know I'd do anything to make you happy. That's what I want to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't you uh, make yourself more comfortable? Take off your jacket. No rush. <sighs> okay. All right. Margaret, there's no pressure. We'll just sit here, relax, talk about the future. I like the sound of that. Me too. Thank you. 
We'll just wait. See how we feel later. Oh, so when should I tell everyone that we'll be back? Oh, how about never? I can't do that, Alec. I've, uh, my kids have been through so much already without moving them to a foreign country. It's... Margo, Eddie's the only one I care about. Tom's kids, they're no concern to me. But they're my kids, too. Where's this coming from? Plans change, Margo. As a matter of fact, today, they were revised almost hourly. Eddie's being released from the hospital. I'm picking him up in about a half an hour. Then we'll be gone. I can't possibly be ready by then. No, no. No, you probably won't be. But then that doesn't matter now. Margo, you let me down. And that's too bad. Because I loved you. I did. I would have given you the world. Why are you talking like this? Like we're over. Why are you asking me more questions? Did you really think I didn't know what you were doing? Asking me what time we're leaving so that they could arrest me at the airport. Asking me where we're traveling, what's our destination, just in case they needed to extradite me. So that no matter where I ran, you, you could make sure they knew where I was and hunt me down. Did you find out everything you needed to know about me, Margot? Did you? I hope so. I really hope so. Because I sure as hell found out everything I need to know about you. Uh -huh. A lie that I planted a, a bug on you, Alec. Go stop I, it. I saw you do it. You have said so many times you must have like a hundred enemies. It must have been one of them. Save your breath. You might need it. Nobody's listening. Do you get that? And you're not getting a confession out of me, Margot. What are you going to do? I've already done it. Did you really think that I was that stupid? Did you really think that I was gonna let anything, anything, stand in the way of starting a new life with my son? Margo, I wish it could have been different, but you gave me no choice.